Sup shooters, my name is Logan aka Spiderhands and welcome to SP Reviews where today we have ourselves a track from an act named Code Street titled Mike Brokaw and if we switch over to here we have it on YouTube we're going to listen through this uh, track from start to finish and we're going to hear what we think with the video here anything else nope nice and simple yeah we're going to listen through some start to finish hear what we think let's go Mike Brokaw okay we've got some percussion coming in here I like the sound of that bass. It's in your face, isn't it? It's just thuds there. I don't see no consensus. Lyrical ninja, probably leave this figure. Let's clarify some shit just so you know my intentions. Make you feel my shit like whipping with no suspension. Figured I'd drop it flow, didn't know you'll get addicted. I know I'm good with the sound. It ain't hard to show when it's good. You've been soaking up all my bars. I've been breaking next from the stars. I just stand and check out the art. The collection be in the auction dealer. Let's just take a break for a moment to appreciate what we've had so far here. I'm loving these breakbeat drums we've got in the background with that bomb, 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 melodic percussive element on top of that. And then the bass just highlights the whole note. His flow is sick, man. I like it. There is no filler. There is absolutely no filler at all. <laughs> I like the swag of the confidence we've got there. The guy does spit like he's got, like he can back it up. You know, talking about you know, giving people's heads to to nod until they fall off. I like that. I like I like the imagery there. I, I like the um, I like the office decor, the, the element there. It's just someone getting down to business. He talks of a like sense of authority uh, within it. You know, you can tell that um, Code Street is someone who's familiar, you know, familiar with a microphone. He's familiar with the genre of music. He so he's invested a lot of time in becoming good enough to be able to approach performing it effectively and it's paying off, I think. Blowing out your speakers with your goddamn rhyme and doing it all goddamn time. And I like how the bram 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 there, I, I like how he does it in time with that. This kind of feels like it could be a chorus, but I'm not sure. Is this the hook? We've got that similar musical thing that we had at the beginning once the, the, the vocals came in. Is there going to be change here, aside from a slight filtering of the drums at the last bar of the four occasionally? Here we got the filtering that. again. Yeah. Again? Yeah. Tell that nigga, let me think about it. We're going to cool in that goddamn city, man. Professional with the wordplay. Let's be surgery. Every cut is like surgery. And apparently ain't nobody here heard his street. But once I leave the scene, describe that shit as a murder spree. Take nice. Um, I try not to focus on the music videos too much because it can distract me from paying attention to the audio and reviewing and analyzing it effectively. Um, I like how we talk about how we're all business and then when we come out of that, we're a completely different person. It shows the depth to the character. It's interesting to listen to. You know, we want to we want to hear more from a musician, hear more of what they're all about and Code Street knows that and is, is making the most of that. I like, again, I like the wordplay. I was forged in a fire and came out even hotter. You know, it's strong imagery. There's a consistency to the thematic tonality throughout this track. The guy's playing with different rhythms, different rhythms for his different, different melodic sequences. And, and the guy, um, I think he's also double tracked these vocals as well. So they've got a little bit more presence in the mix. And it's testament to the skill of the rapper involved that he can double track and it doesn't sound like it's phasing or it doesn't sound like it's a detriment to it. Um, it sounds nice and present in the mix and it's nice to listen to. Oh 
show niggas how that shit go, motherfucker. Key. Cool. I get it. So we're talking about letting go of people that aren't really helpful to the situation. Locked himself in the booth and then got to work, got down to practice, you know. He's outside of the office now, but the flow does not stop. He is on the ball 24-7. It's cool. I like this tribal kind of element we've got with these kind of jungle-ish kind of beats. Okay, this is definitely a hook. Cool. Sick. Written and directed by Code Street, aka Squinton Tarantino. <laughs> I like it. Edited by 1200, aka. Alright. Cool. All right, so that was Mark Brokaw, because this is the conclusion for this review. I, I think this that Code Street is trying to tell us more about themselves, the way they operate, their effectiveness on the mic and in life in general, the work that they've put into it. You know, I again I remember the trimming the fat, um, the way they deal with the people around them, um, focusing on that music, and uh, he's always making money all the goddamn time as well. I think so, like making money making beats that get people's heads falling off. I, I, I think it's a tale as old as time in hip hop and rap and stuff, but whatever reason, I still find it fresh. It's really cool. Code Street did a great job of telling that. There was a missing wordplay in there. Um, and as a rapper himself, Code Street is nice and char is charismatic, uh, really energetic. It served the purpose of the story well, as well as it kept up a similar energy to the rest of the instruments in the mix. Appreciate the clarity of his vocals in the mix. You know, he sounded nice and clear, pronounced the words clearly. And, uh, you know, it's the little things that can really elevate an experience with a rapper that you haven't heard before. But I have all the time in the world for Code Street, and I hope he continues to develop and improve as a, as a, as a vocalist, you know. Although he's pre I, pretty much where I think he needs to be in order to make things work at the moment. You know, we had a clear structure verse chorus, a really catchy, you know, chorus with, with the bum, 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 da, 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 bum, bum, bum. And it was a really simple melody there with that melodic percussive stuff i might be like i don't know what kind of kit or whatever he's using or what instrument that is but it sounds dope either way it could be sampled or not i'm not sure um but it, it it the vocals and that are a nice contrast to the otherwise kind of it it's it's hits man it's percussion otherwise there's nothing there's no other polyphonic pads or other instruments in there I mean, there is a bass of course but the bass isn't necessarily gonna be too colorful as it is typically as befitting of that low end and it kind of gives you that no BS kind of vibe to it that I really appreciate. You're not there to be wowed by the different instruments in the mix, you to be wowed by the story and the vocal performance and how everything else kind of slaps. So that's cool. But yeah, definitely that traditional verse, chorus, verse, chorus structure. We didn't really need more than that, especially in a track that was sub three minutes. I think that's the perfect length for this kind of format. Um, you got to know the guy, you got a bit of a different angle with him in the office and out of the office. And uh, it was a fun story. And um, I don't think you needed more than that. It'd be cool to see what else he raps about, though. I want to hear more of his stuff and what I want to see what other stories, he, other adventures he goes on. In terms of the production, the recording, mixing, and mastering, again, the, the effect, the EQing and the side chaining and stereo field and everything like that is great. Um, everything had a place in there. It was nice and full in the headphones without being too overwhelming there. Because it was loud, it was mastered well, but at the same time it was, um, especially with those higher kind of cymbal led beats, sometimes you get a bit of sharpness in there, but the production was strong in this one. I think the simplicity of the elements in the mix with the drums, the bass, and the percussive, a lot of percussive stuff, that allowed for there to be a minimalist approach to the production in general. I mean, we had some filtering on some of those drum beats, which is all the more easier because we didn't need to worry about the chordal effects of the filters or any textures beyond the, the short attacks on those um, those hits. But aside from that, you know, I think keeping things simple in regards to the production, the arrangement of this track was a smart move. It allowed Code Street to stand out excellently in the mix. The vo again, the vo quality of vocal recording was great. I've got no issues whatsoever with that side of things either. Um, again, it was nice and loud without pumping. The limiting compression was done really well. And the effects change. I, I didn't really hear a lot of different effects change. The vocal, I mean, there was double tracking on the vocals and that, but obviously being EQ'd. 
But there was no like fixing up and post or anything like that. The guy can just rap really well and it's a very authentic performance. And uh, yeah, I think that's basically about it for Mike Brokaw by Code Street. Um, I'm happy with this track and hopefully you are too. This is effectively a review of the song. If you enjoyed it, please do go show Code Street some love via their various social medias. And uh, they've got a website as well as a YouTube channel. I think they're on other digital streaming platforms. Stay cool and stay safe. And please remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time. As they need the help more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on in the world. And I'll catch you in the next review. Spider hands up.